what's up welcome back to another video i am about to do very light natural sun-kissed makeup and i want to show you guys i actually just got some makeup from merit beauty and i've been needing a new makeup bag isn't this the cutest makeup bag ever i have a couple of new makeup products that i want to try today and i thought we could try it together the first one is it's not a concealer and it's not a foundation but it's a perfecting complexion stick and it's called the minimalist that's what this stick is called and it's in the shade camel I have been wanting to try Merit Beauty for so long now. I'm so excited to finally do this. This is the shade I got. Let's see. I feel like this is a pretty good match. It's just very light. Not too much coverage. Just perfect for summer. Look how smoothly this blends. I feel like this is so, so forgiving. It just blends into the skin perfectly. Stop, I love it. Okay, if I was stranded on an island and I had one makeup product, I think it would be blush. This is the Merit Beauty blush in the shade Cheeky. Actually, I wanted to go with this one because usually I do pinkier, brighter, lighter pinks for my blush. I saw that you can use this one as a lip tint as well. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And so I decided to go for a little bit darker. That is so pretty! Okay, to give myself that sun-kissed look, I'm going to add the blush like right here, right here, and then a little on my nose. I like a lot of blush, <laughs> like a lot. Wait, I love this shade so much. You know, so hard to pick because they have so many beautiful shades on their website. Now I want all of their blushes. This is what we've got. This is really giving like beach day, lake day makeup look. Now I'm going to do my mascara and I'll see you guys once we're all ready. It is 9.23. Before we go to a cute little coffee shop to do some work, I also want to start a new book. I'm still reading Fourth Wing, so I'd like to finish that today. But I'm going to read Fourth Wing and I asked you guys over on my Instagram what I should read after Fourth Wing and almost everyone said The Unhoneymooners, which totally shocked me. So that's what we're gonna read in today's vlog. I honestly was fully prepared to read um, The Summer Broken Rolls. Let's get packed up and ready to go. Jeep. If anyone is curious what I order, I think it's the best drink ever. It's so good. It's an iced shaken espresso, just regular oat milk shaken espresso, no brown sugar. Instead, do one pump of white mocha and two pumps of the macadamia syrup. It is so good and it's like the perfect little treat. It's so good. Let's go to the Starbucks. Another Starbucks. Another Starbucks. <laughs> Yeah, I know, it's my face. <laughs> <laughs> I believe. Probably get to reading soon since I haven't read hardly any today.
4.43. I have been reading and I am on page 73. We've made it a good little ways, chapter five. This is such a fun, easy read. I feel like I'm reading it so fast, it feels so good because I've been reading a lot of fantasy recently and so it's kind of been taking me a little bit longer to read um, a certain amount of pages within an hour. It feels like I'm actually making good progress. This has been such a fun, smooth, and easy read. It's really funny too. Currently, they have made it to Hawaii. Basically, like the premise of it is the main character, her name is Olive, and this is a enemies to lovers romance. Her sister, who is her identical twin, she is getting married and at their wedding, everyone gets food poisoning except for the main character Olive and the best man, which is the groom's brother. And so now there's a honeymoon up for grabs and so her sister is like, listen, you have to take this honeymoon. But the only thing is they're super strict about the rules. So she has to pose as her sister and he has to pose as his brother and it's so funny and it just feels like it's really getting to the point like things aren't drawn out and I really appreciate that. So I thought this was actually like pretty thick for a romance book but then I looked on the back and I think it's just under uh, 400 pages. This is really really fun. I feel like I could easily breeze through this in a few hours because it's just one of those books that I haven't been able to put down. It's so funny, so cute, so summery. I'm absolutely loving it. So that is my update thus far and I will let you guys know when I make some more progress. <laughs> it is currently 10.30 right on the nose and I am getting so tired. I am 130 pages in. I feel like I'm breezing through this book. It is so fun to read. I'm actually laughing out loud. I, I'm absolutely loving it. And I'm loving it more than I thought I would. I'm so happy that you guys told me that I should read this because I definitely would have put this off for a little bit longer. And I'm so glad that I finally picked it up. I think I'll honestly finish it tomorrow because it's just so good. I wanna try and get to 150 pages by the end of the night or at least before I go to bed. I don't know if I can because I it's like way past the time that I usually go to sleep. I'm so tired. I think that'll probably conclude the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. So let's go get ready for bed. I'm so tired. Mm -hmm.